An ultimate rock and roll showman is, of course, Mick Jagger. Just how much does he feel that showmanship contributes to the Rolling Stones? You're playing a very large gig, you see. Let's say, outside. You've got to have some, I think, uh, some people disagree, but apart from the music, you see, you can't really see the act, act. Uh, if it's in the daytime, you can't use any screen for vision. So, like, in outdoors, you should use some kind of showmanship or effect. Because you've got to keep people entertained. Say you've got a sense of 5,000 people, 100,000 people, 50,000 people, less, maybe. Outside, you can't really see the band, you can hear them. Then I think they should have some sort of effect, which you can call showmanship. And then take that on the indoor principle, uh, indoors, when you've got 10,000 people, over 10,000 people there. So I think they should be entertained somehow, apart from just the music, they can't see. And some people do that by putting big screens up so you see the person who's playing his face on it. Um, which is quite a good idea, except that the, I've never seen it done properly yet. And that's quite a viable idea. And then there's other ideas to do as well, which is one of the ideas. What we did in, um, in New York, LA, Chicago, and London, and we've put them in Paris, is a or we, we try and do a place where it ugly holes, it's basically incredibly ugly, and try and make them a little prettier, and try and make them a little more fun than they are. That's all. I mean, that's part of it, anyway. That's a sort of visual aspect. What about your own performance, which <laughs> is quite extraordinary? I don't know, I just, well, I mean, if I'm given a big stage, I run about it. If you don't we well, played the Apollo Glasgow a few days ago, right? I mean, the stage is about as big as this caravan that we're now talking in. I mean, the room, the room I had to move in tonight was like 80 feet down, 80 feet across, you know, and then 20 feet out. And, and now I had to work on 20 by 20. So, um, I, you know, you have to use different different ways. Of, it's all the same thing. What you have to do is, is, is try and get get to people, you know, somewhere or another. Is, uh, is that inherent in you, knowing that that's the way to entertain people? No, I'm not just, I, you've got, well, I don't uh, I mean, I'm a singer, this is a band. I mean, we're supposed to play, but I mean, you know, singers don't just stand there and sing. In you know, opera, they don't stand there and sing. They act out a whole fantasy. In, in rock and roll, they would jump out and which is part of showmanship. I, I remember always doing something on stage, you can't sit still when you, when you play. That's really where it comes from. It was, yeah, so you just felt that anyway. But you yeah, must but have felt that... Also, if you can't hear the band, which I couldn't tonight, I, I couldn't really do much because I couldn't really feel the band because the, the system on the stage, the monster system was screwed up, so I couldn't hear the backbeat. So I couldn't really dance, so I couldn't hear the beat, the backbeat. So, uh, so I, because I need the band to turn me on. Yeah. So what started off your very famous of movement? Um, well, you could say that right now. No, well, look, maybe the thing is you can't, you can't really, it's not music to fit in, it's still by it. <laughs> Just grab a drink, hang on. 